Feasting on Agriculture with Kristen Oaks White is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef, It's What's for Dinner, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice. Well, today we have a real treat for you. We're here in Morganza, Louisiana on a beautiful blue sky day at Four Oaks Crawfish Farm with Mr. Matt Fry. So the ponds that we're going, are they further, a lot further away from here? About a quarter of a mile down the road. We're gonna get out there and they're gonna be kind of getting ready to uh, prepare for the, the catch today. Right, right. Come on, we burning daylight right here. wanted him to stop and undoubtedly he must have thought we were just wanting to look at him or something because he kept going. So we got to go chase him down. Yeah, we got to go chase him down now. Hey, check that out. What has the season been like thus far? It's been good for us, you know, uh, just wish we could do it longer. When you talk about the season ending, how long are y'all going to keep crawfish? Uh, end of May. We, end of May. Yeah, we're going to be finished at the end of May, yeah. You can sit right there. It ain't, hey. it ain't wet, huh? No, no, no. Sit right here, Sam. Hey. Woo. The crawfish. Yeah. The crawfish. That would be fun. They'd eat you like a little piranha. You sell directly to consumers. Yes. What it, what's the one thing that you want the public to know about the product that you're, that you put your blood, sweat, and tears into? Yeah. I, I, to me, it, it's about uh, the industry trying to put out a, a, a crawfish or a product that is superior. Oh, boy, that's a good one there. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, look, you could eat that one like a steak. Woo! You could eat that one. That, that's a monster. Hey, I need to sack this one. keep it going until July. Could you physically? Yeah, we could, but the quality of crawfish falls off to where, you know, I, there's the money that they're willing to pay is yeah, not why? worth it. Hey, this is a female and this is a male. I learned this last time. Yep. But it was so cold that I think I forgot. The little pizzas. And I got I got a check. But yep, that's a female. We'll see if I learned. What does that make you feel like when somebody sits down for, like you said, a senior party or, a, you know, an Easter crawfish bowl or something, and they have your crawfish on the table and they say, man, these are the best ones I've ever had. <laughs> that happens a lot, but it's still just as good as it was the first time I heard it, which is years ago. So how, what yeah. does that make you feel like inside? Oh, no, it's it's important. I mean, you know, shoot, you, you know, I'm out here, I ain't out here just to play around, you know, I want to be the best that I could do at, you know, I want to be the best at it, you know, uh, and, and we're doing pretty good. <laughs>
now we've got a real treat for you because we're in the kitchen of Four Oaks Crawfish Farm and I've got the matriarchs of Four Oaks, Sean and Jody Fry that are here and we're gonna do crawfish stuffed bell peppers. That's right. And you said that you picked this recipe for a special reason because? Well, whenever we were deciding on what to cook, we said here in the spring of Louisiana, gardens are in full swing and so there's lots of bell peppers and just wonderful ingredients to use in this. So we decided to use And bell you've peppers. got a beautiful, I will have to give y'all kudos because y'all spent you. so much time to give us a beautiful spread. We tried. Of all of the different things that make Louisiana produce great, including the crawfish. So y'all take it away. Tell me what's the first thing we need to do. Okay, first thing you need, or, and we've parboiled our peppers already. So you need parboiled peppers that we're gonna actually stuff these. So how do you just boil them? You cut the tops off. You could either use the whole bell pepper or half a bell pepper and scoop out the pulp and put them in boiling water. I'd say I, about no more than five minutes, minutes just to get them kind of soft. That's okay. the pre-cooking stage. The next step is you're just gonna um, use a half a stick of butter. Not a half that's a stick, that's a full stick, stick of butter. Yeah. Oh, that's hot, and yeah. And then you're gonna put, yes, yeah, a little hot. And then we're gonna put our Trinity. I would put all of it. It calls for a half a cup or a cup of onion, but here in Louisiana, the more seasoned and the better, right? Yeah. So that's a, about that's a medium. That's two things you can never have too much of onion That's a medium butter, onion. in my opinion. It's about a half a cup of celery and bell pepper. Here, you, look, look. I'll help, I'll stir it. Stir. You, okay. you add in. But you tell me if I'm doing it wrong. Now perfect. you're doing it perfect. Perfect. And you boil it. And you're gonna saute that until it's nice and wilted. It almost looks like you're starting to roux. So after that's wilted, you're going to stir in your crawfish. This is two pounds of Louisiana, actually it's four oaks forms, crawfish tails. Beautiful. And you're gonna cook that for about 20 minutes. Okay. So the next thing that it calls for is salt, black pepper, and red pepper. So Jody's just, and we like to season our food. Just a season bit. to taste. Yeah, yeah. To and your palate. You could never have too much. Before we I stuff, we could always taste a little bit. Before you touch, okay. you stuff your pep, your pepper to make so sure that it's to pepper, your, your taste. Can... This is black pepper. And we like a little kick to it. So. Right, right. But that's cayenne pepper. Yes, this is kind of tough. If you used um, boiled crawfish, I'm sure you'll have a little heat in your seasoned water already, so you may not use quite as much. Um, there we go. We're going to have heat on that one. <laughs> this one and some spicy little, peppers. A little wish to share and Tabasco if, you, if you'd like to. And green onions. That's about a half a cup of green onions. And parsley. That's beautiful. In South Louisiana, you can never have too much green onions and parsley. I'll get back to you now. Stir it up, get that well mixed. And actually, now that we've put in all those ingredients, I think we might add a little, a little bit of crawfish stock. Just, I wouldn't put all of it though. Just a little bit. Just this is a, a beautifully colored dish. And it looks like that we coordinated our outfits yeah. with it <laughs> It, it kind of does. By you? coincidence. It's a very pretty. There you go. I think you could. Dish, pretty color. Looks so you great. cook that for about 10 minutes. So now we're moving on to the stuffing. Place it in there. And you would put a little bit of water in the bottom so it doesn't stick. Pop it in the oven okay. at 350 until till it comes till out. Till it comes like out. That, like this. And that's the finished product. And as we always say, the magic television, we have it already prepared. So I'm going to be the guinea pig tasting. Y'all, this is so, there's so many different flavors in here and the is it good? wonderful kudos, I'm taking the recipe home with me. If you guys at home are interested in trying this recipe yourself, or you wanna learn more about Four Oaks Crawfish Farm, we put a link on our website at twilighttv.org. Thank you so much, Sean, Jody. This has been wonderful. It's a great dish and the spread is so beautiful. We've had a great day here at Four Oaks. Thanks for joining us on Feasting on Agriculture. Feasting on Agriculture with Kristen Oaks White was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, beef, it's what's for dinner.
and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Think Rice. After seeing that, I'm definitely hungry for crawfish. And if you're hungry for crawfish too, the folks over at Four Oaks Crawfish say they're going to be fishing their ponds through the end of May.